What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Pitch side with Parker. We're live after the Man U Arsenal game. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, especially if you're an Arsenal fan. Lots of Arsenal content on the channel. My man Vic is with me today. We yeah. got to watch the game together. Last video for a while, y'all might be seeing with Vic. But a uh, lot of lot of new stuff to come soon. But anyway, let's talk about the game. Nil nil. Really not a whole lot to say about it. Like, if you look at the table, it's a better result for Arsenal. Yeah. Like, man, you want to be winning these games. But this is, I think, the fourth game in a row against a big, old big six, yeah. right? That they've gotten a nil-nil. It seems like that's kind of their game plan. Like, they didn't really come in with anything different in this game. Yeah, I think United definitely got what they wanted. A win was like, yeah, like, we'll take a win. But, like, if we get a draw, we're okay with that. Because they never really like fully came at Arsenal. I think you have to give some credit to Arsenal as well. For like sure, especially yeah. in the first half, Arsenal took it to United. I thought there was a lot of energy, especially from Martinelli and Pepe. Mhm. Mm yeah, Martinelli that um little like header he had for um, when he was tracking clearance. back and yeah. yeah. He wasn't even in the picture and he just came back and saved Flew the day on that in one. there. Like yeah. that was that was a play you would be amazed if a defender even made. Right. Let alone Martinelli. Like, yeah, it felt like sometimes he was even further back than Cedric. He was almost like playing center back, filling in for him sometimes. But the yeah. work rate, because he's going up the field and creating chances as well. Yeah, they look, they look good over there on the left. They have a good, um, like, balance. Like, Cedric will help Martinelli in the attack, and then Martinelli will help Cedric in the defense. So people were saying should, um, should Arsenal buy like a left back? I mean, Cedric looks pretty good at left back. Yeah, Cedric's performed well. Like, I got to give him credit, man. Yeah. The last three games, I would say, ever since um, they played Newcastle, Cedric has looked very good at left back. I think he hasn't come up against a whole lot of threats. Mm -hmm. Like, this game, Rashford, I really feel like he he had a bad game. He and Fernandez, I felt like, really disappeared. And Rashford did have a couple of moments, but the one in front of goal, yeah. he just did way too much with that. Yeah. He, he, he was definitely low on confidence or something because... He just wasn't, like, as clinical as he usually is, and he was just hesitating and passing up good chances. And there was one play where he had a one-on-one -on -one with Louise in the box, and then he just gave it to Cavani, and he just whiffed it. So Yeah, you – why would you not run it, David Louise? Exactly. Like, that is the most approachable player. In between, the box as well. Between him, between Jaka. Remember at the very beginning of the game, maybe yeah. the first five minutes, he spun Jaka, and then Jaka just bodied him off. Like, if you're a Rashford – Surely you could be beating Jaka one on one in transition. Yeah. Like that's that's two big marks against you if you've had chances against Jaka and Louise and you didn't get past either of them. Yeah. But I do think Arsenal, that left side, missed Tierney and Saka a lot. Like mm. you also have to remember Aubameyang wasn't playing in this game. I think when you factor those things in, there's a lot of signs of improvement from this Arsenal team because I think this is a game that two months ago if Arsenal played yeah. it shorthanded, you're saying, like, you imagine they would lose this game, and you can imagine saying, oh, well, it's because we didn't have this person, it's because we didn't have this person. But now it's like at the end of the game, you can at least say, you know, we had a good chance to beat a team that potentially could win the league this season, yeah. the team in second place. So to me, that's a step in the right direction. Yeah, I agree. So if you had to give out a man of the match in this nil-nil game, what are you saying? Leno made a few good saves, and then... Pepe worked hard going forward and back, but I think David Luiz is probably man in the match. David Luiz, I think that's a good shout. I, this is a bold one, but I would say even though he played 45 minutes, Martinelli is my man of the match, bro. Okay. Like I think without him, genuinely, United would have scored in the first half. I think he made enough important defensive plays. Yeah. He also created some good chances for Arsenal. The best one dipped inside, beat two players, and then he floated it over. It looked yeah. like Lacazette could get it, but... He, he couldn't reach out, yeah. I mean, Lacazette put himself about today as well. I hope I hope yeah. he's recovered because that ah. injury at the end of the game looked really bad after he clashed with McGuire. He looked super shaky standing up. And actually, that's an interesting thing we could touch on real quick. Premier League is about to institute a new sub for concussions. They just announced that this week. Oh, really? Um, and so that could have potentially been a situation. It was already the 93rd minute, yeah. and that rule isn't quite into effect yet. But a week or two from now, we could see that being actually – you know, something that a team is allowed to do. And, I mean, I think that's a move forward in the game. Yeah, I think especially after, like, that Jimenez injury. Like, say that happened in the second half. Like, that Jimenez injury happened, like, in the first, like, Yeah, it was early in minutes. that game, yeah. Say that happened 
in like a 1-1 game in the 80th minute or something like that and Wolves made all their subs. I completely like agree with that rule. So I guess the last good thing to touch on we could mention from this game, there isn't a lot to say about it, but Odegaard did debut for Arsenal. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen my Odegaard video, go ahead and check that out. We'll link it up here. You know, you've got a good perspective. You watch a lot of La Liga. You saw him play a lot at Sociedad. So although we don't really have much to discuss from his performance today, you know, what do you see him bring into Arsenal? He'll carry the ball forward a lot and in between the tight spaces. A lot of times you see with Arsenal, like a lot of players going sideways and stuff like that. But I think the difference between him and the rest of the players, like I think Smith Rowe has it a little bit in him. But like Odegaard, like he has that confidence to take on the half turn and then run at the back four and then give a through ball to, I don't know, Aubameyang or Pepe or Saka, whoever's playing. So, yeah, I think that'll be a huge, like, change for Arsenal, a huge, like, positive that he'll bring. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, I'm excited to see what he can bring. Yeah. It was frustrating today. I felt like Arteta waited too long to bring him on. Yeah. When the game was nil-nil, I think you got to at least bring him on 70th minute or so. Yeah. Because he's the type of player that wants to control the game. And if he doesn't have enough time to get into it, I mean, he may have touched the ball like twice in the game. Yeah, he did. He just didn't have the opportunities, and Arsenal was just kind of defending at that point. Super broken game towards the end. It seemed like both teams were kind of happy with a draw. But, but yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of what he's going to bring, and, and I'm definitely excited for that. Hopefully, you know, he can get some more game time soon. But at the same time, I don't really want Smith Rowe to be out of the lineup. And if Saka comes back, that's going to, you know, take another place out in terms of if you were wanting to play him out wide. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see kind of how Smith Rowe fits in. Just think about it. it he'll lessen the chance of Arteta hopefully picking Willian. in. Because, I mean, that that's like the next guy out. I off hope the bench, so. Like besides, Martin I hope Willian. so. Yeah. so yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. And unfortunately, we got forty-five minutes of Willie on today. But uh, you know, the yeah. the less said about that, the better. I mean, yeah. the reaction to his substitution said it all. Like, yeah, everyone was just so down whenever they <laughs> yeah, saw Willie coming on. The difference between him and Martinelli is just it's like night and day. But yeah, I mean, no, no need to rag on him too much. Really, not a whole lot else to say about this game. You know, zero zero. Arsenal United, but hey, we'll take a point, move forward, and Vic, thanks for coming for the video, yeah. and um, yeah, man, thanks to everybody checking it out, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one, peace.